Hey guys, you've seen me catch a lot of big beautiful trout like this on video. Why don't you join me on the water? Book a trip with the Kel Kellogg School of Fish and Guide Service and I will put you on the fish and I'll teach you how to catch them yourself. We're going to be guiding at Collins Lake this fall aboard the beautiful FHS patio boat. Go on over to fishhuntshoot.com and book your trip now and we'll be yelling fish on tomorrow. I'll see you there guys. So guys, it's a fairly technical bite right now. We're we're up, we're very close to shore, maybe 100 feet offshore and 16, 17 feet of water. The fish are kind of stacked between maybe 12 and 20 feet of water. Um, I'm running lead core. We got another lead core rig in the car. Tom's running conventional top lining gear. We're trying to play with some weight on his line to get the right depth. When I get in front of these fish, I've had no problem hooking them on a small orange fly. Right there, fish on right there we we're 22 feet of water that was 12 feet down i only got one line in the water so i'm going to turn inshore and fight this fish and let tom continue with the troll right there but see the marks catch the fish not always that simple but sometimes hey guys kel kellogg here i'm out on my front porch it is stormy it is rainy the wind chimes are chiming away and I want to talk about structure trolling for trout in the fall and winter. Um, that trout that I'm hooked up with, that is a dandy trout. It's a really big rainbow. I'm going to land that trout after I get done talking. So hang on for that. You'll want to see that fish. He is, he is very impressive. But let's talk about structure trolling. And I'll start out by contrasting it with open water trolling. Lots of times we're out on a lake and we'll know what depth the fish are at. Fish are at 20 feet deep. But they're out in open water, so we kind of just have to blind troll around with our lures suspended at 20, 22 feet, maybe 18 feet, and just kind of work until we come across a fish. If we're lucky enough to come across a pot of fish, maybe we get a double or a triple hookup. But the bottom line is, even though we know what depth the trout are at, we got to do a lot of searching because there's nothing to concentrate the fish. They could be anywhere out there in open water at 20 feet deep. Well, in the winter time, in the late fall, when the water's starting to get cold, you'll very often find fish associated with a certain depth, but you'll also find them holding tight to structure, and that means you can absolutely smoke them because the fish are very concentrated. Not only are they at a certain depth, they're holding close to the bank or close to a point or along the face of a bluff or a drop off or something like that. And you can just work them and work them and work them because you know right where they're at. And that was the situation at Eagle Lake. The footage you're seeing, seeing here right now was filmed at Camp Ronald McDonald. That's a kid's camp, it's up in the woods there. And we found the fish, the water was 49 degrees. We found the fish stacked up right on the first break line coming off the shore. How did we find them? Well, we started out blind trolling with our, with our spoons and flies in the top 10 feet of the water column. And our plan, my cousin Tom and I, our plan was to push south until we found some fish. We just were exploring. I hadn't been on the lake in a dozen years probably and uh, didn't know what to expect. But you know, 49 degree water, the fish are gonna be up fairly shallow. After that, we're just going to go shallow troll, push south, and see what we can find. Um, within the first half an hour, I caught a fish just kind of randomly out in open water. Um, we didn't get any other bites. It was just a, a random event, and we didn't get any more hits after I released that fish. It was a nice fish, about two and a half, three pounds probably. But uh, it didn't really tell us much other than we just caught a random fish. Um, Looking out in the distance, we could see quite a few boats working off Camp, uh, Camp Ronald McDonald, working about a quarter mile stretch of the bank, and we could see several bank anglers dotting the shoreline. So once we got there, I fell in line with the boats. I'm looking at the sonar. The water was 40 feet deep, and I wasn't seeing anything, and none of the boats were catching fish. I did see a fly guy over on the bank catch and release a fish, so that got me to thinking, well, I'll bet the fish are concentrated closer to shore. So I, I pulled in to the inside of the boats. 
I was careful to stay away from the bank, guys. I didn't want to interfere with your action. I'd swing out around them. But there was plenty of room between anglers to effectively work the area. Well, what I found, this is what I found. I actually have a diagram here. I'm not a very good artist, but uh, I think you'll get the idea. And I'm going to look at this as I explain what we saw. Most of the water offshore was about 40 feet deep, and it was very consistent in depth. It was 40 feet deep for a long ways. And this is out, out in here is where we had most of the boat traffic, you know, most of the trollers were working. And I was marking no fish out here, and they weren't catching any. There just weren't fish out there, you know. 49 degree water, this is the surface of the water. Here's the bank where the bank anglers were. The, the land, you know, kind of disappeared into the lake, and then it dropped very quickly down to, you know, about 40 feet. Well, I started marking fish right here, right along that break line in 12 to 20 feet of water. And there were a lot of them. There was pod after pod of trout. Sometimes I'd have six or seven trout on my screen. All we had to do was get our lures down into that 12 to 20 foot depth range, stay close to the shore, and it was fish on. Multiple hookups. Um, we had pretty much wide open action for three or four hours. Um, I understand why the boaters weren't up there. You know, you're always afraid to troll close to shore because you might hit something. You're in your boat. But in that situation, there was nothing to hit. You could get up, you know, within 50 or 60 feet of the bank and still be in 20 feet of water. So um, I, I get the apprehension of the boaters not wanting to get up into that near shore area but remember when you're out there you know make your first first path through some of those areas that may be hazardous just get in there go slow and kind of scope out the situation because in along that bank there was nothing to interfere with your troll if those boaters had pulled in just a little bit they would have been into the fish but none of them did it even though they saw us in the kayaks catching fish after fish after fish I think the bank guys were only occasionally able to kind of just get on the edge of where the fish were holding. I think they were having a hard time casting out far enough to get down to 12 feet because I only saw a couple of fish, you know, caught off the bank. So remember, in the winter and in the fall, when the fish are concentrating on the bank or concentrating on, you know, any kind of structural feature, whether it's a point, a bluff, a, a sharply dropping bank, you can be, you know, 200 feet offshore and not catch anything. You can be on the bank and not be casting out far enough and not catch anything. But if you get in that sweet zone, if you find a fish concentrated on structure and you're able to effectively present a lure or a bait to them, you can have an absolutely epic day. Remember that when you're out on the water this fall and winter? And let's get back to that fish. It is a big, bad, handsome Eagle Lake rainbow. And uh, fact of the matter is, I'm going to cook him tonight. Anyway, check it out. I will catch you next time right here on YouTube. I'm Kel Kellogg. He's coming my way. He's going to go crazy in a second. Oh, oh, we're getting to that point. He's starting to realize he didn't like the way this is going. <laughs> oh, nice big fish. Wow. He's going to go crazy. Oh, that's a big fish.
kids going home for dinner. Oh, that's a nice trout. Junior trolling fly, guys. That is just an incredible Eagle Lake rainbow. He jumped all over that, 12 feet deep, right near shore. It's marking some fish. Um, I played with the depth, got it dialed in, and uh, that's the reward right there. That's what you come to Eagle Lake for, and that's why you pull trolling flies. What what a what a beautiful fish. I'm just, just blessed to catch big giant trout like this, and uh, that's the nicest trout I've caught in quite some time.